Hello guys, in this series of videos, I'm going to teach you how to code and solve problems using Python. Python is an open source, object-oriented, high-level, powerful programming language. Python can be used for web development, game programming, distributed programming, web scripting, and many more other uses. And the good thing is, Python is easy to learn. It has clear syntax, no type declarations, and automatic memory management and many more features. I have designed this course for anyone to follow along, regardless of your device specification. So we're going to use a web-based IDE. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. This is where we're going to run the code. Let's go to the IDE. On your web browser, type glot.io. That brings you to the website. Scroll down and select Python. That brings you to the IDE. Click on the run button. And if you see hello world, the environment is working fine and you are ready to start coding. Now the environment is set up. I'm going to show you how to define a variable and assign a value to the variable. So we're going to start by defining the following variables. So day, so now this value here on the left now holds the value of Monday. So day is not Monday. So to see the printout, day and the value is Monday. You can assign more variables, say name, let's say love, love is a beautiful name. So if I print it out, So name, the value of name is love. So you notice there are double quotes surrounding this value here. That just shows that this value is a string. We can also define variables and assign integers to them. Let's say age is 100. Print age to show the value of age, which is 100. Now we're going to start with the arithmetic operator. Operators are the constructs which can manipulate the value of operands. So let's let us consider this expression. So Say ten times ten. Equals two hundred. So this ten here and this ten here are the operands. And this multiplication is called the operator. So there are different type of operators. For now, we're going to start with the arithmetic operator. So just want to comment this out. I'm going to go through that also. Um, commenting in, in Python. So. So um, we're going to start with arithmetic operator. So the first one 
we'll go do the addition. And that will be say so I need to print it out so you can see it, you can see it on the in the printout. So you want to add two numbers to in, in Python. It's just the same operator as in arithmetic. So if you want to add one plus one is two. So same thing just like in arithmetic. So if you want to subtract, say 10 minus five, it's five. So same thing, if you want to multiply, say 10 times, Five. Let's click on run button. It's fifty. So if you want to divide, so ten divided by five is two. And we have the modulus in Python or in programming in general. So modulus is the remainder of a division. Basically, the modulus divides the left hand operand by the right hand operand and returns the remainder. So we're going to divide 10 modulus 3. So we print this out. It's one. So that is the modulus operator. For the now we'll move on to the exponents. The exponent is usually two asterisks. So if you want to say 10 to the power of two, basically 10, 10 times 10 is 100. That's the exponent. The floor division is two slashes two division symbols and it's basically returns the value and remove everything before the decimal point so usually if you want to normally if you divide normally if you divide 10 by 3 you have a remainder Of 0.333, but with the floor division, it removes those fractions. So that's the the floor division. Now we move on to now we move on to the comparison operators. So the comparison operators are basically they compare the values of either side of of them and decide the relationship among them. So sometimes people refer to them as relational operators. First operator we're going to use is the um, double equal to. So if the value is is the comparison return, returns true or false so in this situation we're going to compare if 10 
is equal to 10. It's true because 10 is equal to 10. The other comparison operator is the not equal to. It's false because 10 is equal to 10. This is the symbol for not equal to. So we can say the next comparison operator is greater than. So is 10 greater than, let's change it now, 100. Force. 10 is not greater than 100. So on the other hand will be the less than symbol. Is 10 less than, is 10 less than 100? It's true. 10 is less than 100. The next operator we're going to check is the less than or equal to. Is, is 10 less than or equal to 10? True. Go for the, the greater than or equal to is 10 greater than or equal to 9 true I will move on to the assignment operators you assign a value from the right side operands to the left side operands age equals 10 so this is an example of an assignment. So you're assigning this age a value of 10. The next assignment is the plus equal to operator. Now, if you see the difference is there's a plus in front of the equal to, basically this value 10 get added to H and this existing value is carried forward with H so now the value of H will be 20 because of these two values here is added to this so the value on the right so the right operands value is added to the left And there's always a sign to the left. So if you run it now, you see the value is, is 20. All right, let's move to the next one. Is the minus just does the opposite, the subtract. Now 10 minus 10 is zero. Subtract the value was 10 before. Now you subtract the 10 from the existing 10. Now you have 0. Now to multiply, let's put the same thing. Multiplication in front of it. It's 100. 10 times 10 is 100. Divide, let's put the division in front of it. To get the whole number, the floor division. For the modulus, just put the symbol in front of the equal to. So the value of 10 is, the value of h, I beg your pardon. So the value of h is 10. So h modulus 3 
is a remainder of one. That's one. So same thing for exponent. Is ten times ten times ten. One thousand. Same thing as writing. This is the same thing as writing. Times ten times ten. And that's it for this video. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and press the notification button so you can get notified each time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.